Lesson 1e, ions. We call the subatomic particles. Protons have a mass of 1, a charge of plus 1, and reside in the nucleus. Neutrons have a mass of 1, a charge of 0, are also found in the nucleus. Electrons are almost massless, have a charge of minus 1, and travel around the nucleus in a path called orbitals. From previous lessons, we see that changing the number of protons in an atom will result in a different element, while changing the number of neutrons in an atom will create an isotope for that element. Well, what would happen if we changed the number of electrons in an atom? Remember, electrons have nearly no mass, but they each carry a negative 1 charge. So changing the number of electrons will not change the element, will not change its mass, but will change its charge. Let's look at sulfur, for example. Sulfur has an atomic number of 16, which means it has 16 protons in its nucleus. It has an atomic mass of 32.1, which means its most common isotope is sulfur-32, which would have 16 neutrons in its nucleus. In order for this sulfur to be elemental or neutral, it would also need 16 electrons to balance out the 16 protons. This diagram shows you what a model of sulfur may look like. 16 protons, 16 neutrons, and 16 electrons. If you focus on the 16 protons, which are 16 positive charges, and the 16 electrons, which provide 16 negative charges, then this atom has a sum charge of plus 16 plus minus 16 which makes zero net charge. It is neutral or elemental. Well, what would happen if we remove two electrons from elemental sulfur? It would still have 16 protons, 16 positive charges. It is still sulfur. It would now have 14 electrons or 14 negative charges. The sum of charges would be positive 16 plus negative 14, which would be positive two. This would be sulfur with a charge of plus two and a mass number of 32. Remember, electrons have very little mass, so they do not result in a noticeable change in mass number. Atoms with a charge are called ions. This would be an ion of sulfur, sulfur plus 2. What would happen if we added two electrons to elemental sulfur? Well, the proton number would still be 16, which provides a positive 16 charge. But now there would be 18 electrons, making a negative 18 charge. The sum charge would be positive 16 plus negative 18, resulting in a net charge of minus 2. This would be an ion of sulfur with a charge of negative 2. Let's try this example. You have elemental nitrogen and you add three more electrons to its orbital. This would have seven protons, as all nitrogen has seven protons. Seven electrons plus three more makes ten electrons. The net charge would be minus 3. You would have a nitrogen ion with a charge of minus 3. This next example has neutral chlorine removing two more from its orbital. 17 protons, 17 minus two makes 15 electrons. This results in more positive charges than negative charges. The net charge would be plus two. This makes a chlorine ion with a charge of plus two. This phosphorus begins with a charge of plus one, it means that it has already lost an electron and is no longer elemental. What would happen if you added two more electrons to its shell? It must have 15 protons, all phosphorus does. It starts with 14 electrons, but you add two more, so that makes 16 electrons. The net charge would be positive 15 and negative 16, which makes minus one. The ion of phosphorus is phosphorus negative one. This is the periodic table of elements. Elements are neutral, so all of these are neutral, which means all of these elements have the same number of protons as electrons. However, the table does list what charges these elements would like to become to help them become stable during chemical reactions. This number is often shown on the top right of each cell. Elemental chlorine, for example, has 17 protons and 17 electrons, but the minus sign at the top right of the cell shows that it would gain an electron to become a minus one ion under certain situations. Elemental aluminum would give away three electrons during certain chemical reactions to make aluminum plus three ions. Elemental iron would give up three or two electrons to form plus three or plus two ions under certain situations. When there is more than one ionic charge listed in a cell, the top number is the more common ion charge that the atom would gain. In summary, elemental atoms have no charge. They have the same number of electrons as protons. Isotopes are atoms of the same element but with different masses due to a variation in the number of neutrons. Ions are atoms with a net charge. This is due to a gain or loss of electrons.